We're going to look at the across function and we use it to select variables against a particular criteria and then apply a function to the observations in those variables. Easy to use, very useful. Stick with me. Let's do this. Boom shakalaka. We're going to be looking at the MPG data set. And just before I carry on, just so that you know, all the data that I use in these tutorials, you have access to. So if you don't know how to find the data, if you type in data, open close brackets, control enter, this is a list of data sets that you've got on your computer that you can practice with at home. And so just so that you understand the problem that we're going to try and solve today with the across function, I'm going to have a quick glimpse at the MPG data. And you'll notice that we've got a whole lot of variables and some of them are character variables and we might prefer that they be factors. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can change them with one easy step. Right, so we've got, we've started with the MPG data, right? And we've piped that into the mutate function, which basically says we're going to change something. We're going to either change something or create something new. And here's where across comes in. We put in the word across, and the across is a function that has two arguments inside it. The first argument is a set of criteria that it'll use to select variables. And the second argument is something that it will apply to those variables, right? So in this case, we've said, where is character? In other words, it will select any of the variables where the variable class is character. And then we've got a comma. I've just put